Hey guys, I am here to do my January hashtag I'm on a no buy update. So I'm trying to be on a no buy or low buy. What I'm trying to do is not buy makeup in general, but I did also tell myself that if I use up 10 makeup items, I can purchase one. So that way eventually I would sort of reduce my stash, you know, by a lot, basically. Um, didn't quite work out this month, but I'm going to tell you guys what I bought, how much I spent, and everything like that. So the first thing that I got, I went to Ulta actually on the first because they had that, um, they had like extra points and they had the leader sale. I bought two of the leaders, the Redken Extreme, I bought the shampoo and the matching conditioner. I also bought a travel size of the Redken Anti-Snap, which goes with that shampoo and conditioner. I also got there a three pack of a mini OPI nail set thing. So that total there was $45 even. I also bought at CVS a Sally Hansen nail polish that was on clearance. It was $1.25 that I paid. And I also bought the Garnier Micellar water cleanser thing. It was on sale for $7 and I had a $2 off coupon so it was $5. Another thing that I bought was the Caudalie SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. That is typically $49, but I had a $10 off code for Birchbox, so it was $39 with free shipping. I also bought the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara for $3. I had a $3 off coupon, and it was $6, so I paid $3, and I also paid $10 for Birchbox for January. I am no longer getting Birchbox. I did cancel that, so that won't be showing up again. And probably the least positive shopping that I did was I went to Mac and I got a empty quad because I really like how the Mac quads look as opposed to like my elf quads. I like being able to see the shadows inside. And I also bought the 263 brush which I had planned on getting because I really wanted a new angled liner brush. The thing I shouldn't have got was, sorry I got the eyeshadow in mystery which has been discontinued so that kind of prompted me to want to buy it even though it had been on my list for a while as one that I wanted to try but I just never did and then when I saw it was being discontinued it kind of was like oh like I need to go get it so there was a bit of that panicky weirdness going on so that's what I bought in January my total cost I'm keeping a spreadsheet on Google Sheets. My total cost is $130.75. That does not include tax for most of them. There were a few that I did include tax for, but that most of the time I'm not including tax. Um, and that, you know, I think that's okay. It's not terrible. Um, the Mac wasn't the greatest, but you know, I'm gonna move forward. I did get a Sephora gift card for my birthday, but I did not use it. My birthday is in January, and that always kind of makes this month a little bit hard for me too. But yeah, so I only bought like two real makeup items, I guess, like the eyeshadow and the mascara. The mascara, I'm not upset about. It was $3. I wanted to try that mascara because I heard that it can hold a curl really well. So, you know, I'm just going to try and move forward and not buy as much in February. You know, it sounds, it doesn't sound like a lot when I was buying it, but when I just had to tell you guys everything, it seemed like a lot. So I would encourage you, if you are trying to be on a no buy or a low buy, maybe make a video about it or do it on Instagram or tell me in the comments if you don't want to, if you don't make videos, um, what you bought, you know, just to hold you a little bit accountable. It helps to sort of tell someone um, yeah, so I spent $130 this month, which sounds like so much, but I still feel like I really didn't buy that much, which I guess is just all about this weird habit that I've fallen into and I think maybe some of you can relate to as well. So anyway, guys, that's it. I'm just going to try and keep it short. I'll talk to you later. Bye.